Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the libco question number 678, valid parenthesis string. Basically, given a string s containing only three types of characters, a left parenthesis, a right parenthesis, and a star, return true if s is valid. The following rules define a valid string. Any left parenthesis must have a corresponding right parenthesis. Any right parenthesis must have a corresponding left parenthesis. A left parenthesis must go before the corresponding right parenthesis. So, you know, it's only this way. Here's the left one, here's the right one which is corresponding. If it's the case, you know, it's a valid string, cool. If you have something like this, it's not valid because the corresponding right parenthesis goes before the corresponding left parenthesis. This is not valid, basically. This is valid, cool. And also the last rule is that the star could be treated as a single right parenthesis or a single left parenthesis or an empty string. So you can do, you know, whatever you want with the star. You can treat like as whatever is better for you. And here's some examples. That's the valid string and return true because yeah, cool. Here's the left parenthesis, here's the corresponding right parenthesis. Left goes before right, return true. Here's another case. The else return true in this case because we can treat this star as an empty string. And if we treat it as an empty string, you know, this star just goes out and we have a valid string. Another example. In this case, it's a valid string and return true because this star can be treated as a left parenthesis. And if you treat this star as a left parenthesis, it becomes a valid string and return true in this case. If you would have something, I don't know, something like this, you know, even if you would have like tons of stars here, doesn't matter how you treat the stars, this left parenthesis doesn't have any corresponding right parenthesis. And we just would return false in this case because this string is not valid. Another example of a valid string, actually. Mm. Let's consider something like this. It's a valid string because this star can be treated as a left parenthesis, and these two stars can be treated as an empty string. And here we go, a valid string, or else another way to make the string valid is to treat these two stars as a left and right parenthesis. And if you do that, we also get a valid string. So yeah, guys, this is basically what we need to do. Let me just quickly write the code now and I will go through it with you and we'll explain you everything in more details. Just stay with me. Okie dokie guys, so what do we have here? Basically the idea is to use two stacks to store the indexes of like with the first stack to store the indexes of the left parentheses and with the second stack to store the indexes of all the stars which we see in our input string. After that we have a big for loop and after the for loop we will have a while loop. To explain it a bit better let me just show you an example and I will go through the code now. Imagine that this is our input string. Actually let me just make it a bit more bigger. Okay, imagine that this is our input string. We will go inside the for loop, right? And then, you know, we'll iterate through all of the characters, character by character. Okay, so right now we're pointing at this uh, character, which is a star. We check if the current character is a left parenthesis, no it's not. Then else if, if the current character is a right parenthesis, no it's not. So we'll go inside the else statement and we'll would just update our star, star stack and would we'll push the index of, the, of this star, which we just saw. Okay, this is our star stack at the moment. We just pushed one index there. Cool. Next iteration of the for loop. Here's the star again. We'll do the same thing and we'll update our star stack. Cool. Another index of the second star. Next iteration of the for loop. Here's our current character. And yeah, the same thing again. Cool. Then next iteration of the for loop. Here we have the left parenthesis as our current character. Okay, the first if check, yes, the current character is equal to the left parenthesis. We update our left stack and push this index to the left stack. That's the index tree. Next iteration of the for loop. Here we go. Here's the right parenthesis. And now we will go inside this else if. First of all, the left stack is always in priority because with the stars, you can treat them as anything you want, but with the left parenthesis, you can treat them only as a left parenthesis. So that's why the left stack is in priority. And we check if the left stack is empty or not. And in this case, it's not empty. And that's why we pop from our left stack. Basically, we will remove, you know, the last element from the left stack. And you can just assume that we are doing something like that. You can assume that we're just, you know, simplifying our problem.
because if we see a right parenthesis, we definitely know that for the string in order to be valid, you know, before that, if it's like the first right parenthesis which we see in a string, before that, we need to have like a left parenthesis or a star which we will treat as a left parenthesis. If you don't do that, the string is definitely not valid. And actually, if you don't do that, we just return false straight away in this case. If both stacks are empty, we definitely want to return false when we see the right parenthesis. Cool. But yeah, in this case, we don't return false. We just updated our web stack and took out the last element from it. Next iteration of the for loop, we'll consider this element, which is a right parenthesis. And we check the web stack. It's empty. So we take the star and convert it to the left parenthesis and we just pop the last element from the star stack. That's why this two will go out from the star stack. And now we will go outside the for loop. Here we have a while loop, but we are going inside the while loop only if the left stack is not empty and at the same time the star stack is not empty as well. But however, the left stack is empty. So, and yeah, and then we just check if the left stack is empty and indeed the left stack is empty and we return true because we don't care in this case about the star stack because we can treat all the stars as an empty strings and the string would be valid and we would return true yeah, in this case, which is correct. However, you might be wondering, what's the purpose of this while loop then? Okay, let me show you another example, guys, and you will understand that. Imagine if we would have something like this. Not as a left stack, but as an input string. Imagine this is our input string. Cool, we will go inside the for loop in this case. Here is the left parenthesis, we update our left stack, put the index 0, next iteration of the for loop, another left parenthesis, we put the index 1, Cool. Next iteration of the for loop, we see the right parenthesis here. We check if the left stack is not empty, and it's not. So we remove this element from the left stack. And again, guys, you may assume that we kind of simplified the problem and removed these two parentheses. But yeah, in reality, we didn't update the string. But you know, you can assume that we did, kind of. Okay. Then next iteration of the for loop, here's the star. And we go inside this else statement and update our star stack. Perfect. Right now, you know, left stack has one element and the star stack has one element as well. And that's why we will go inside this while loop now. We are going inside the while loop. We define the left index. We define the left index and it's equal to zero because left index is equal to left stack that pop on this element goes out from the left stack. We do the same thing with the variable which is called star index. And yeah, also star stack dot pop. So this tree goes out and we put it here. And now we check. Okay, because we know that it's also a valid string, right? This star can be treated as a as a right parenthesis. And now we check if the star index is less than the left index. And the star index is greater than the left index. That's why we don't return false in this case. And because the stacks have been updated, because we popped the values from them, we will go outside the while loop and we will check if the left stack is empty or not. And the left stack is empty indeed. And we just return true in this case because it's also a valid string. However, in which case we would return false here? Let me show you in another example, guys. That's another example. Okay, you know what we will do here. Okay, basically these two stars, we would update the star stack, zero and one. Then for these two uh, left parentheses, we would update the left stack. So two and three. Then last iteration of the for loop, here's the right parentheses, but because the left stack is in priority, we will pop the element from the left stack. So this three, this index three will go out from the left stack. Cool. And right now, Right now, here's our web stack and here's our star stack. We will go inside the while loop, right? We define the left index and the star index. The left index is equal to left stack pop. So we take this two and remove it from the left stack. Then star index is equal to the star stack pop. Okay, it's equal to one. We take this one out. And now what we have here star index is less than the left index. Yes, indeed, because star index is equal to 1, left index is equal to 2. And in this case, we would return false, because indeed, this string is not valid. 
this left parenthesis doesn't have the corresponding right parenthesis and there are no stars in the end so this string is definitely not valid and we just return false in this case which is correct so yeah guys this is basically how it works i know that there's a lot of things going on right now here but yeah let me just run the code to see if it works code dust let me submit Perfect guys, 100% 0 milliseconds simply as that. I hope it was clear. If you enjoyed this tutorial guys, please give it a like and subscribe. Show your friends to see if they can solve this question or not. And I will see you in the next video guys, good luck.